So the ethos is a, is a wonderful community because it's composed of so many different kinds of people, all whom are focused on how do I improve the lives of the poor by improving cook stoves. And that's a, a surprising thing in that it's a very, you would think it's a small community, but it's grown from three or four people to this 140 people that come here and probably another 300 that attend Ethos now and then along with others beyond that. And so having started from a very small seed, it is this community of people who come together every year and have this conversation on what have we learned and how do we improve the lives of the poor. And so it's that conversation that's important here. This is not a conference in the traditional sense of we present papers and we peer review them and things because candidly the, the fields that meet here don't intersect other places. We have sociologists, we have nonprofits, we have for-profits, we have engineers, we have professors, we have business people. And this intersection of communities means that peer review and sort of the traditional professional society piece is not what we want to do. What we want to have is a conversation. I want to learn from your experience. I want to put it into my language. I want to make suggestions from my experience. And together we want to move forward to improve the lives of the poor. So it's that conversation. Aprovecho helped to start Ethos and uh, the first meeting was at uh, the Research Center. I'd say that uh, the conversation that we want to happen at Ethos is um, at least between three different participants. That would be the people from the field who have all the experience with uh, the stove projects. They are talking to the researchers in the lab who are trying to uh, solve questions brought to them by the field. And then both parties are trying to inform the funders who are looking to accomplish their different goals. I'm Leslie Cordes. I'm a Senior Director for Strategic Partnerships at the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves. Um, this is my second year at Ethos and um, I'm delighted to be here uh, among the practitioners who are toiling in the field so hard uh, to make clean cook stoves for so many. I'm Nancy Hughes. I'm the founder and president of Stove Team International. We have a little different approach to uh, stove distribution. We assist local entrepreneurs in the developing world to uh, establish sustainable factories to produce Ecocina stoves. We're working in Latin America and in Mexico. I'm here at the Ethos Conference, Ethos 2012. Um, Ethos has been a, an amazing meeting place for the last 10 years for people to share ideas, uh, to share designs, to share research. This conference is always refreshing for me because it's so real. It's people who are so passionately committed to um, cook stoves from the uh, those engaged at the uh, very technical level to those who are actually working on the ground to take those stoves and, and bring them to a larger audience. I'm here at the conference at Ethos um, to present the material that we collected from kitchen performance tests. I think this year people are really talking about scaling up, so that's a big, a big change. You know, we're looking at making three million stoves in Africa over the next 10 years. Our goal is to really bring researchers, designers, engineers, business people together because each group on its own tends to get it wrong. So it takes all of these people all under one umbrella to get the right stove into the hands of women. It's not stoves only. A stove is a t tiny little piece of a cooking energy system. And it depends on the fuels, it depends on the user behaviors, and depends, of course, also on the cook stoves but the cook stoves are only one part, and we tend to forget that. If you put the pot on the supports and you leave enough gap, enough cross-sectional area, so you're not choking the fire, and so in the design and use of the rocket stove, so the best rule of thumb is you've got a certain cross-sectional area of your chimney, keep that cross-sectional area wherever you want the gases to go. This is the, these are the readings in here that we had 
in terms of the tea lud stoves, pyrolyzing, burning off the char or not burning off the char, you actually have lower emissions in, uh, into that from those tests. In contrast, three stone fire, here's the rocket stoves, which are, in my opinion, the very best of the stick wood stoves. They'll be around for a long, long time. Big future on them also. Why should we bother with modeling um, when we can do experiments? Well, modeling is going to help us understand the relationship between the different processes that are going on, a sto going on within a stove. Um, it's also going to help us predict the effects of changes in design or geometry or operation without having to do extensive experimentation. Fuel efficient, clean burning, safe, and user friendly. Um, someone just asked, what, what, are the, what do the cooks think of, of the pot being this high? After a day or two cooking on the stove, they love the ergonomics of being able to stand up and cook. Um, the kitchens are clean. The babies on their backs are happier. Um, and it's a very, very quick process to learn how to use these stoves. I, I was in Darfur. I taught 350 cooks how to cook on our stoves in, uh, in the three weeks I was there. In 15 or 20 minutes, uh, they get it because it's so simple. Um, this woman is the head cook at Bida Government Girls School in Bida, Nigeria. And this was an unsolicited testimonial when I got ready to leave there. And it kind of says it all. This is what we set out to do. So if you had to sum up ethos in a word, it's the great conversation, and it's about improving the lives of the poor. And I know that wasn't five minutes, but... <laughs>